This will be my first attempt at Gabe White's very difficult standards, guys, as you see here at seven yards, uh, minus penalty, anything outside the A zone, 0.25 seconds. Uh, you add on a 0.25 seconds for doing it from concealment, which I did. Bill drill, not used to doing it. Failure drills, used to doing it. Um, as you see the times there, you would add on the 0.25 though, so 3.75. Uh, immediate incapacitation drill would be 3.25 for two headshots. And a split bill drill, which I've never done before, four to the body, two to the head, and 4.95 from concealment. Hi folks, Dan the Wolfman here. Today we're gonna run a caliber debate and I, there's no videos really like this online, not really. Uh, between nine millimeter, 40, 45, it's a Smith and Wesson caliber debate to make it a little more interesting. So we got a Shield Plus, a large micro nine. It's kind of on the larger, heavier side of the micro nine. So almost between a micro nine and a subcompact. Shield Plus, a subcompact, 2.0, 3.6 inch barreled, 40 caliber, and a uh, rare Smith & Wesson 4513 TSW. Look at my rare TSW unboxing and range review. Not all firearms are mine. I borrow some, etc. This is my new carry gun. And um, anyway, guys, let's see how they do in different drills. I might do my own drills, shooting while moving, which I think is very important. Everyone neglects. Or I might stick to Gabe White's drills, which uh, I've never done the split bill drill before. And bill drills, I don't really do. Everyone says, what's your bill drill time? Well, that's six shots. I do fast five. I fire uh, usually a lot of double taps, triple taps, and fast fives. I always assume that there might be multiple attackers. And so if you only have a magazine capacity of 13 plus one or of eight plus one, you know, I don't want to shoot six towards one guy. I want to be able to shoot two, three or five typically the way I train and then reassess the evaluation. Uh, if I do do the Gabe White drills, the problem is I'm not gonna be able to get the time. I might get one or two and then the other old phone's gonna die battery wise. Uh, but uh, I added the plus 2.5 times for from concealment or from a retention holster. There's kind of how it goes. These are the closest to IDPA uh, or USPSA type targets I have. I think the sizing on the AB zone is the same or at least similar. Uh, I didn't measure off the head box. That circle might be a four inch circle, uh, actually. So that four inch circle, uh, maybe I'll use that. Uh, I don't have a tape measure with me, unfortunately. But anyway, here's your times if you're doing it from concealment. Even to get dark, uh, and you do two tries on each drill, even to get the dark pin on each of these is a really good thing. Bill drill, six sh shots to the chest, everything done from seven yards, you get to do it twice. Failure drill or Mozambique, to the body, one of the head. Do it twice. There's your times. You're going for 3.15. So the bill drill is probably the hardest as far as times are concerned. And you get minus for dropping, you know, B zone, C zone shots. I'm okay if I get some Bs. I'm not okay if I get some Cs. Intermediate incapacitation drill. That is two shots to the head. I have a video on that, but I haven't done it all that often. And it looks like I would have made the dark times. I uh, rewatched the video last night. Split build drill, I have never done. That's four to the body, two to the head. Now, you're supposed to go bum, 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 or you're supposed to go bum, 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 if you're a better shooter and not have that beat there to the headshot. I'm sure I'll have a little beat there. Um, but that looks like a, an easier time to get dark. If you can get light, you're a rock and roll. And if you can get turbo, you're a freaking superstar that's probably not watching my videos anyway. So anyway, guys, let's see how the 9mm versus 40 versus 45 Smith & Wesson caliber debate the battle goes. So when watching this, please realize I was way harder on myself than I actually should have been. If you look here at the targets, the body box would be in red line on USPSA target or where the red lines in the body are, six and a half by uh, 11, I think. So uh, I measured it out and I went over the shots and I did time every single segment out. And anyway, I did a lot better than I thought I was doing, especially the first time ever uh, doing these drills, trying to meet the standards, especially since I wasn't using a full-size heavy uh, 9mm Glock 34 or whatever, but a Micro 9 and a subcompact 40. As you see, I did really rather well. I passed 7 out of the 8 as you go through it, actually 7 of the 8 of the attempts, and you only need 4 to get the pin, your best 4 no matter on what of the runs, your best 4. I got 7 out of 8 with the 9mm. I got 4 out of 8 
with two being very close with the 40 subcompact, uh, two be, being very close over part time, uh, the last runs of the split bill drills, but all six A's both times when you watch it, and only one out of eight with the 45, and that has more to do with ergonomics than caliber, I believe. But try and figure out where the shots were as you go through watching. Imagine the USPSA body box A zone being that wide where the red lines were on these targets. And you'll be able to get a better feel All right, for guys, keep how in mind, these really first do. shots are cold as in. I haven't shot it, and it's freezing cold outside, and that affects me and slows me down as well. And I'm going outside waistband, 3 o'clock, all in the same holster to try and get rid of variables. So I'm working all from my toaster, contour, outside waistband holster, great holster. That's what I conceal with. Um, and uh, use code Dan the Wolfman to get 15% off. I'm a little faster from appendix, uh, but I recently switched, and uh, I'm just trying to make things fair by not having different holsters be a, var a variable. So all three o'clock uh, with a lot of layers on, and hopefully the range tech range timer uh, I got is juiced up and will catch on my old crappy phone. See how she goes. All right, here she goes, elbows in, going from hands up fence. I'm used to doing only five. I staggered a bit trying to keep count there. Let's see how I did. All right, par time for this uh, from concealment to make dark is 3.75, 3.75. So I came in good under that. For a cold iron, that's pretty decent, probably for me, 3.35. So good bit under the 3.75, 3.35. Uh, but I only got three A zone, two B zone, and that. Now that is in what is probably a four inch circle, or at least similar. Uh, when they say headshot counts as lucky and as scored, I think they mean in the split drill. If they mean it overall, let me know. So All right, so that was my very first attempt of that. You get minus uh, two point or plus point two five penalty for your B. So time from concealment or from a retention holster, three point seven five on the bill drill. You got to be way better to get down to lighter and turbo if I wrote them down correctly. So, um, interesting that three of my six shots were on the spine. Three were a bit to the right. Now, I aimed to the, a little bit to the right of the spine because if you know this pistol, I think the rear sight's actually a little bit off. It shoots a little left for me. That's not just trigger reach and trigger control. That's part of it with the slim shield. But actually, the rear sight on this and on the 2.0 are a little bit off. Uh, but I'm left eye dominant right hand shooter. Keep that in mind. All right, let's see if we can get a second run for you lose battery. You did not get slide lock back. That's interesting. Crappy, crappy draw. All right, guys, so I failed again. Uh, that was a horrible draw. Got totally fouled. First shot wasn't one point nine one. Last shot, the fourth one it registered was two point nine one. Now I don't know for sure. Maybe I was shooting that slow. It is a micro compact. It might have been point two five splits then. Par, but minus twenty five been minus twenty five. So B and C zones get minus twenty fives. So I still didn't even make it. This is some spicy hard stuff. All right, guys. So certainly there's a lot of better shooters out there that can put all six in the A box. Both of those run three. A on the spine or right next to the spine out of each. How would we do with a 40? Now, would this be easier with a full-size gun? And if I practice it all the time, yeah, of course. Uh, but let's see how hard it is in real gear in the cold uh, with a nine micro and a subcompact 40 and 45. Let's see if I can get the time. Here we go. That did not go so good. I'm not having luck on any of my draws in this gear with the three layers underneath today. Realism could get you killed. Uh, I made the part time though, even with that horrible draw, it was so slow to first shot, but I still made uh, 3.73. So just under the 3.75 part time. If I had all A zones, that'd be great, but I only got three A zones here. One B zone. A C zone, I think that would be a B. I'm not sure on the uh, USPSA target if that'd be a B or C, but minus that, I still fail with the 40. All right, one more run with the 40. I just can't get a decent draw today, it seems like. Uh, that's reality. Well, here we go.
shots felt better, uh, but I, I was slower uh, splits, but I, cause I, I felt like I had the time and I did have the time cause I had a better draw. I took my time that time uh, just to make the black 3.45, 3.45. So under the part time of 3.75 well, uh, from consumer. Let's see how I did. And made the time, but still with penalty points. And now I did it. I got still three A zone, two on the spine, one in the heart. A good, pretty good B zone. And two C zones just outside. All right, DASA 45 going hot. Uh, let's see if I got the time. Nope, just a little too so on those splits. Uh, 3.6, no, I got it, 3.61. Okay, so 3.61, 3.61 on the range tech range timer. Let's see what I did. Unfortunately, four shots, and I just raised that up a little bit. It would have been okay. I forgot where to hold on this pistol, and it does shoot a little low. Um, so I'm not sure what grain I got in there to be honest. So four, I think I got 185, so I might hit a little bit lower actually. So I got to bring it. I got to bring my end point up to more like there, and then it would have been one of my better runs, but it still wouldn't have messed up at 3.61, one bad shot. So five actually good shots if they were just a little bit higher. Let's see how I do on the second run. Let's see if I can redeem myself with the DASA 45. Um, fortunately, don't have an accelerator pedal for my left thumb. That's been an issue. Of and, uh, you know, it's not one of the ones I have typically fired. All right, let's see. 1022? Oh, yeah, nice, yeah. Jumping all around, I would not be surprised if a couple shots were left. Let's see if I got the time. Split seemed maybe like 25. Were they longer than that? Uh, 3.33, so a little bit faster. That's one of my best times, actually. 3.33, uh, let's look at the splits, 24 and 7, 31, 30, 31, 30, uh, looks like 31 and 30, 32, 33. So 31, 32, 33 on all the splits. I don't think you're seeing that at all. So 3.33, a little faster, but I completely shit the bed. I mean, completely shit the bed. I don't even want you to see. Let's just say I only got one A zone. Yeah, that's holding yourself accountable. That's really bad, and that's why, I don't know. Uh, but uh, just trying to borrow pistols and see what they can do. And the caliber debate, I would say 45 is almost out of it. The build drill these times are the hardest, uh, especially from concealment with, with subcompacts. Uh, but I would say 9 and 40 are still pretty much tied. All right, Shield Plus, Smith & Wesson 9mm. Now, Mozambique, failure drill, two to the body, one to the head, target 3.15 par, 3.15 from concealment. Par, here we go. All right, let's check our time. And... It looks like a 2.88. 2.88, so under the 3.15. The first one uh, might have been someone shooting over there. Yeah, I don't think I can see. But at 2.88, let's see if I made the hits. All right, I'll have to look at a USPSA target. I'm not sure if that box, I think the USPSA box is really fire. Uh, the headshot's in. This I should be able to do. I should be able to do it. Unfortunately, we just lost our timer, but I can probably play it back or in my editor and see if I make the time. I'm sure I will. I was 2.88 last time under 315 if I can make the hits. All right, here we go. And I am using warm, warm 124 this whole shoot with the 9 mil to keep the things a bit. <laughs> Broke the line on the headshot a little too high. I think that was within time. That's real nice. That tells you how flat the shield comes back, which has always impressed me. I think it's a great micro. 
Uh, I'd like to get a four inch barreled one, but not have the sights. I hope someday they redo that so you don't have the orange in your visual field and all that. Is, 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 was that still good enough for probably a defensive gun use? Bad guy? Yeah, probably. Except for the bill drills. That's really spicy. Now with the 40, unfortunately, I'll have to replay to get the times. I think I'm in. Uh, pretty easy on everything except the bill drills. I think I'll make the times. Yeah, that felt good. That felt probably 2.8 to 3 seconds. 1, 2, here now. Failure drills, motion peaks, that's something I'm comfortable with. Bill drills, it's not. Split bill drills, I've never died. Um, is that good enough for a bad guy? Defensive gun is probably, but, you know, really, I do want to hold myself. That first shot at least should be there. If the second one's there or there, hey, uh, headshot was good. All right, failure drill, second attempt with the 40. Get through the second shot. Uh, that felt really fast. Now they might be in. Finally, the guy's watching left. That added some stress, some little stress relief. And now I'm doing what I need to do. One on the spine, one there. Two perfect A boxes. Perfect headshot right in the T box and not even a little high. Well, perfectly centered in the circle. Uh, so I think that was probably about a 2.8, 2.85 run with perfect hits. Easily under the 3.15 par. That's more like it. All right, third gen Smith. Freedom! Freedom! More freedom. A lot of freedom. Wow, this has never jammed before. It's not with the original OEM magazine. It's OEM magazine for like a 745. Well, very surprised. I got the first ever jam in that when I borrowed it. But uh, let's try and go here. I don't think it's because it's a 45. I think it's just uh, maybe dry and that's not the mags that were better in it. That's the one I designated as a training mag. Okay. Okay, I think at least two of those three are in. I think that was well within par. God, please let those hits be made. And now everything is low as it's been all day with this. So barely in the A box low. On the spine, B technically an A, though I want there, not that. That's an ideal headshot. That is a little low, but well within the, I'm guessing that is a four inch circle. I'm guessing that would be appropriate. So, uh, I might have made it there. Um, I say the 9 and the 40 are still around in the 45. I don't know. I don't think it's because of the too much recoil of a 45. I think it's because of modern ergonomics missing. I don't have a place or tape on it for my left thumb and accelerated pedal. That's really, really hurting this third gen 45. Just giving you another look at Gabe White standards. You can look them up on Lucky Gunner Lounge, which is what I did. I don't think they've changed. Seven yards bill drill, six shots to the body. Uh, you get uh, these are the times from concealment or from a retention holster. So the I've added the 0.25. So 3.75 bill drill. I, now on to the median capacitation drill. So there's your times bill drill. You want at least 3.75. All right, guys, I think I'm finally warming up and I'm doing okay-ish now. Obviously, earlier I wasn't. Hopefully, if I was doing a training weekend, I'd be warmed up a bit by the time I was tested and I'd do okay. Maybe getting capacitation. This one, dark, isn't that hard, I don't think. We'll see. I'm going to eat my words in a minute. Light looks more than possible, even with a slow draw. The way I am right now, outside waistband, even if I didn't get that first shot at 1.75, headshot, then next shot, should be able to make light. And if you have a quicker draw, even turbo should be possible, I would think. Um, okay, two to the head. Seven yards. 
3.25 is our normal people dark pin goal from concealment. Having a little problems, and sometimes I'm shooting left, I think, with the Shield Plus because it's so thin compared to the other two. I have kind of XL hands, not really long fingers, but a thick manly kind of grip, but not really super long fingers, but still wear XL gloves, a biggish uh, catch wrestling, catch jitsu type of hand. All right. And the second shot's high, so minus two five. Damn it. One of the shots, perfect. Now, as far as I know, that's, I don't know if that's a, just a miss and it's no good or if it's a B and a minus two five. Uh, this possibly is still a good go if it's only minus two five. So maybe that's considered a B and then a minus wherever it is. And then a minus two five is a maybe pass. Okay, second attempt with the nine mil shield plus. I went high again. No, two on top of each other. I think that was a good run and within time. And finally, starting to do a little better. <laughs> Big different performance there was when you're cold than when you're warmed up after 50 rounds or whatever. Uh, two on top of each other. I'm pretty sure that was within time. Unfortunately, I can do it with the 40 too. Immediate incapacitation drill. First attempt with the 40. Uh, draw was a little slow. Hits are good, barely. Um, draw was a little slow. Need to watch it back. I think I still made it. I still, I, th I still think I made the par time. My hand was just not a master grip. I was a little bit below the beaver tail, and I felt the space there. So that second shot was a little difficult to make, but I made it. All right, first attempt with the 40 was in. Let's see if I can do a little bit faster. The second attempt out. Boom, in. One's a little high. I've been aiming a little high. That's a lot of tape up high, but boom, in. I'm pretty sure line breaks count, so second both attempts with a 40 are in. So runs with a 40, I've made them immediate incapacitation times. And like I talked about, it looked like I almost made uh, the middle ground. Not only did I make the dark, it looked like light is pretty possible for a halfway normal good shooter on the immediate incapacitation. That seems to be the easiest so far. Hopefully I can do it at the 45, though I'm hitting low, and it is 185, so I am hitting low, and third gen's hit low. Anyway, so having a little bit of problems, uh, let's see, new target up, just because I was drawing, the, all the tape was drawing my shots in certain areas a little bit. All right, DASA, third gen, 45, here we go. I think I dropped both uh, one in and the other one low. Very down bad guy, but you know, I'm aiming, I'm trying to get up here and I got here and I think the second shot went there and it was a little bit slower on the draw. Not really the draw, but finding the front dot on this pistol, the third gen, I don't really love their sights. Two five light, 2.75 from concealment. So that 0.25 is added in dark, 3.25 immediate incapacitation. If I can make both shots this time, hopefully, and uh, hitting really low with this. And the DA to SA transition is difficult on this kind of drill as well, especially if it's not like my carry gun that I'm more familiar with, my duty carry gun. Okay, here we go. One in and one way low left. So I don't think I did it with the third gen. 45, two, three, four, five, six, seven yards. I was maybe not big enough going backwards. A little over seven yards, probably. One in and one. All right, starting with the nine again. My first ever attempt at a split bill drill. That's four to the body, two to the head. Doing it from concealment. Dark looks should be possible. Light looks probably pretty hard. All 
I'm going to guess my time was around 4.25. That's just a uh, two A zones. Shot two, three, four there. That ain't great. And that is outside. Yeah, it's outside. Son of a bitch. It didn't record. I just made it. That's a line break. I actually made all A zone hits. It was slower, but I'm pretty sure I got below the 4.95 seconds. I slowed my tempo down. I filmed in the beginning of the video. I talked about how I need to slow down, concentrate, make my hits. There seems to be time, at least to make the low level of making this. Uh, and I, <laughs> you just, I didn't have to believe me. I think I made it. That broke the line. Barely made it. So one, two, three, four. A zones there. One, two, good headshot. A zones there. So second attempt with the shield. Plus, I mean, it was a slow run, but under the part time, I'm almost definitely sure. And uh, I made the hits. Gabe White standards, first attempts ever. This is the third attempt ever I've done on the split bill drill. I did it twice with the 9mm. Now, first time ever with the 40. So third time ever, split bill drill. Uh, first time with a 40. And, whew, I should slow down. Okay. Let's see, I might have done it. Hell yeah, I'm happy with that with my new carry gun. Hell yeah, I am. So I just sucked total balls. Pill drill the first times with uh, today at all doing build drills because I don't do build drills. I practice fast five at five yards and seven yards, uh, but I don't do build drills of six shots. But I got all four A's on. In fact, all four are hitting the spine and two head shots. I think that was well under the 4.95 concealment time. Uh, I'd have to lay it back, but I think. I might have spoken too soon. That was really close in time. I think I made it under the 4.95, like 4.9, but it might have been five seconds because I had gotten that one, like, second cadence almost, I think, in those shots. So I need a cleaner, a bit cleaner draw. Let me tuck in my three undershirts. I'm, this is my fourth layer. And a slightly cleaner draw will get me there and slightly faster hits if I can keep at least most of them. I use them on white drop 1D. Let's see if I can just push it a bit because I think I already made it. Let me push it just a little bit. Let's stay. Recoil control. Recoil control. Ooh, I don't know. It seems a little jumpy. No, maybe they're on there. Oh, I hope so. Cause Please let that be under 4.95 seconds. One, two, three, four. I got four. That's actually nicking the spine. That's nicking the spine. Four on the spine. One, two, good headshots. Uh, um, so that is probably slower, to be honest, than I would fire in a real defensive gun use at seven. I would go at that cadence at 12 yards in a real situation. At seven yards, I'm going to be hammering the trigger a little bit faster than that. So I'm sure two would be A's and two would probably be B's. And hopefully I am pretty good at making my headshots, uh, to be honest. But um, that's a little spicy, but the build drill is what killed it. Let's see if I can do it with the 45. The temp ever, first attempt ever with the third gen 45 on a split build drill. I, uh, first one, I rushed too much, got too many B zones with the 9mm. Second time with the 9mm, I know I got it in within time and got all A zones. Uh, first time with the 40, I think I barely, barely got like 4.95, I think so, replaying the video. I think I made it. Uh, second time with the 40, the last run... I actually went over, it looks like. There was a, a beat in there between the body shots and the head shots that made it a little too long, and I was a little slower getting on the trigger once I was extended uh, the second run. So I think I just got over the five, like five, over the 4.95. Let's see if I can make up the 45. Doing the worst with this 45, not 45 caliber, but this specific 45. I think someone that was used to an HK 45C or a Glock 30 whatever um i think they could do it as good 45 carry guns if that was their carry gun if they were used to it this the ergonomics i mostly that i have nowhere i don't have tape on it it's a old rare pistol um that I, you know i borrow pistols not all are mine all that etc uh for an accelerator cut let's see if i can do it the 40 uh, 40 No way, the draw, I didn't clear the back of the grip. 
on the draw. I made a shitty grab on my cloth. I didn't yank it high enough without using the secondary helping hand, which maybe you should, but it does slow you down. Well, maybe you should make sure that doesn't happen in reality. I messed up. One, two A zone, three, four B zones, but at least they're still good shots. Combat effective-ish, you know, on the spine, that's gonna drop them there, maybe not. One good headshot, one, so no. Six ever second attempt at a split bill drill with the 45 third gen. And not having an accelerator pad placed for my left hand, the ergonomics of this pistol. And it's hitting low anyway because third gen sights hit low. And then even more so because I'm using 185 because ammo is really expensive and that's what I got. Um, so yeah, that is making some stuff drop below the boxes that maybe wouldn't have if I was using 230 to be honest. Uh, but the 9 and the 40 are been quite a bit easier to shoot than the 45. I don't think that's because the caliber. If I had a 1911 HK45, uh, whatever, I th you know, a Glock 30, something like that, I think I'd be doing a little bit better. Okay. My last run was way too long and missed hits. Seemed a little faster. Uh, doubt it made the time. Well, three out of four to the body, hitting the heart. A zone, that's good. One way out there. C zone, B C's are minus 0.25 seconds. Headshot A and a miss is like negative three, you're friggin' dead, and you got a lawyer attached to it, so you suck. Uh, so this was a whole big ball. It started good and became a whole big uh, ball of suck. Just have not shot this as well today. And if I, you were comparing carry guns, maybe you're going to do what I did here today because this, this uh, the Gabe White drills are good to do anyway and to evaluate pistols and maybe you're going to consider between, a, you know, not full size, but a micro compact and subcompact 9 versus 40 versus 45. Maybe this is a good way to evaluate. This would probably eliminate that pistol as a regular carry gun. Good enough for occasional maybe, but probably not as your EDC. Hey guys, if you stayed with me this long to wrap up the 9 vs 40 vs 45 and Gabe White drills, what do I got to say about it? Well, they're, they're pretty hard. Two of them are more than doable to the dark level, immediate incapacitation, and the split bill drill if you practice it. Failure drill I should have had down, but being cold, I didn't do as good as I should have. I'm usually better at failure drills. Uh, the biggest one, most difficult one, time-wise, to make good A-zone hits is the build drill. Because a lot of people do that, and that's not something I do. I practice fast five and five and seven. I think firing five instead of six when you got to plan on multiple attackers and the total capacity of your pit probable pistols, 13 plus one, 13 plus one, nine rounds, eight plus one. You know, if you're not carrying an 18, 20 round, 22 round super blaster, you got to think about ammo capacity too, and always plan on at least three attackers, sometimes even four or five. Uh, so the drills are difficult. My hits, uh, the second target I used at, at, towards the end, pretty good, except that last run with the 45. Almost all the bad hits, non immediate fight stopping hits, the really bad shots you see here, here, here. I mean, those are still post spine hits, hitting low. And the, the low and left ones were with the 45. Again, those pistols hit low. It's more ergonomic thing. And I was using 185 ball, which made it hit even lower, I believe. So overall, guys, if you've never done Gabe White's challenge, I did it today in the cold. I'm tired. I shot 34 rounds of each, 9 millimeter, 40 and 45. So 102 rounds down range today. At 45, sure expensive. So hopefully you enjoyed my video. Thumbs up, share, subscribe. Uh, it's definitely something worth doing and definitely something worth doing with your carry gun. Uh, hardest is the build drill. I shouldn't have started with it because it made me look completely crappy. Uh, if you're going to make your own video, maybe you want to film the build drill last. Uh, but maybe you want to do it with carry guns to actually see what you can do instead of like Glock 34s. If instead of full size, really big, heavier pistols, what can you do in your carry gun? The Shield Plus, overall, everything I've ever filmed with it, 
is pretty capable. I question its ballistics from a 3.1 inch barrel, and I'm using the bestest, bestest hollow points from short bar barrels, a 124 plus VHST. Uh, good summer carry, but I think I'm happy with my decision. They're unloaded. My decision of the M2.0 3.640. I'm happy with 40. I like 13 plus 140 tissue crush. Weight, uh, weight well oh, in the energy and the bigger diameter, the bigger hole going through the body, a lot better than 9 millimeter. And they basically, these two shot on par. Now, this is 10 ounces heavier to carry. Maybe I revert back to this in the summer, but overall, I think that I made a good choice here. And this kind of gets, get, you know, would get eliminated. Do, can other 45s do better? If I had a 1911 lightweight commander or maybe HK 45C, I think I would have shot way better today. But here was a Smith & Wesson battle, 9 verse 40 verse 45. Which one do you want to carry? And uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you, everybody.